Good afternoon, friends. I'm Elizabeth with Essential Oil Elements, and I'm here today for Grandma Salts and More. Grandma Salts carries doTERRA essential oils and supplements and even some other natural health care items and body care. So make sure you stop into Grandma Salts and check out the line of doTERRA items. Not only that, but she has also has some great diffuser necklaces and bracelets and diffuser jewelry that you can use your essential oils on. And so the reason that I chose doTERRA is because of the certified pure tested grade standard, which means that every single batch of oil is tested for purity and potency and efficacy. So it's going to work. It doesn't have any chemicals in it. Hey, Courtney. And um, it's potent, it's safe, and it's effective. And so we're going to talk today about some essential oils that are great for motivation. They're uplifting, they're energizing, they're cheery, right? So, the main ingredients of essential oils that are great for motivation and encouraging are peppermint, clementine, coriander, basil, melissa, rosemary, yuzu, and vanilla. Now that's several essential oils, right? So you might be thinking, gosh, do I need all of those essential oils? Well, you don't need all of those essential oils, but you can get them in one single bottle of Motivate essential oil. doTERRA Motivate is the encouraging blend and Motivate inc includes all of those essential oils, peppermint, clementine, coriander, basil, melissa, rosemary, yuzu, and vanilla. I love the smell of this oil. It smells so yummy and cheerful and energizing, invigorating, and encouraging like its name. I call it my Monday oil because, as its name says, motivate. So it's my Monday motivation for getting all the things done. So it helps you when you might be having an afternoon slump at work, feeling a little, sl a little sluggish or tired. Super helpful then. So Motivate is a blend from doTERRA. It's available in the uh, just straight essential oil, which you can diffuse or put on your diffuser jewelry. It's also available in a roller as well, which is diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So you can just swipe it on your wrists, your pulse points, put it over your heart, um, or even the bottoms of your feet, wherever you like to apply your oils best. But you're definitely gonna wanna have it somewhere where you can smell it because this smells so good. I love it, love it, love it. Some people describe it as like an Andes mint candy. It's minty and fresh and citrusy. So some of the top uses for Motivate essential oil, not only is it motivating, energizing, and helps with belief, but it's also great for lack of confidence. So especially if you're having a struggle maybe at work or you have to do a speech or a talk um, and you're a little bit nervous, perfect for those times. So it helps with courage. It helps with motivation. You can diffuse Motivate. Apply it onto your nose, or on your forehead, the back of your neck, or even on the chest. It helps also with confusion and overwhelm. You can inhale Motivate. You could apply in, um, inhale it from your hands or from the bottle, put it in your diffuser, or you can apply it under your nose, on your forehead, the back of your neck, or your chest. Hi, Wendy. Motivate is also really good for mental fatigue and exhaustion. So you'll want to diffuse Motivate, apply it to your temples, or also the back of your neck. Now, if you're feeling depleted and maybe stagnant in what you're doing, your work, you can inhale Motivate from your cupped hands and also apply it to your pulse points. Pulse points are my favorite places to use essential oils, like on my wrists and behind my ears. 
Um, so motivate is also really helpful for occasional sad feelings. If you're feeling sad and down, diffuse motivate. Apply it to your chest, the forehead and the back of your neck. If you're feeling physical exhausted, motivate can also be helpful for you. Inhale it from your cupped hands, apply it under your nose, over your adrenal glands, kind of under your ribs, um, or to the bottoms of your feet to enhance endurance. So you could do that before you run a race or do some running or something like that too. Now Motivate's also helpful for digestive issues. You can apply Motivate over your abdomen, on your pulse points, or on the bottoms of your feet. It has peppermint in it, so I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's great for digestion. This is not an oil you can ingest though. Just use Motivate topically on your skin, um, dilute with some carrier oil, or you can use it aromatically in your diffuser or diffuser jewelry. So Motivate is also helpful for um, lungs, breathing, respiratory symptoms. Diffuse Motivate or apply it to the neck and chest. Since it has citrus oil in it, like peppermint, and also rosemary is good for respiratory too, and peppermint that's really good for the respiratory system. So Motivate is also helpful for aches and pains. So you can apply it to the area where you're feeling discomfort. You can dilute with some coconut oil to help it spread further and to minimize sensitivity of your skin, as well as um, um, moisturize your skin. So one thing you do want to remember, because Motivate has citrus oil in it, clementine oil, you're gonna want to keep the area of your skin where you apply the oil out of the sun for at least 12 hours. Citrus oils attract the sun's rays. So if I put my oil on my wrist like I normally do, I don't wanna go outside and hold up my wrist to the sun, right? So just keep your wrist downward and you're fine. Or just apply it somewhere under your clothing that's not gonna see sunshine, which is perfectly fine. Maybe you want it on your stomach or your chest or underneath your hair. You'll find the best places that you like to use your oils so that you can smell them and so you can feel their physical effects on your body um, as you try and you experiment on different ways of using essential oils. So I am glad to help with any questions you have. Feel free to post any questions here or any topics that you'd like to learn about coming up. We'd be glad to help you out and share more topics about different types of essential oils or different types of health concerns and which oils or supplements are helpful for those. So I'm Elizabeth with Essential Oil Elements. Feel free to follow my page as well on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Elizabeth's Essential Oil Elements. We also have a private education group that you are welcome to uh, request to join, and it's called Team Essential Oil Elements. And we have lots of education several times a week, live Facebook classes, even in-person classes uh, coming up, hopefully as well. And be looking for more classes at Grandma Salts and More too. We hope to see you soon. I will be at the Wellness Day at Grandma Salts and More on May 1st. So make sure you stop over for a hand massage, a bio scan with an iTobi scanner, um, and essential oil sampling. I hope to see you then and have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.